Okay, so we're just going to look at enhancing images by adding more obvious light rays or beams. So looking at this image, we have some light spilling through a little window here. And we'll probably want to accentuate this ray of light, make it wider and cover the archways here. So the way we do this is to select the pen tool here. And to begin with, we're just going to draw an outline of where the light ray is going to be, like so. Then under the color panel, the easiest way to fill this vector is to simply start click dragging on the color sliders here, and that will fill it with a pure white. So far, so good. So the next step is to go into the effects panel and click drag the radius slider here to add some Gaussian blur. I tend to add quite an excessive amount, more than 50 pixels worth. Then go back to the layers panel and set the blend mode to soft light. Okay, so it's sometimes hard to visualize what the effect is going to be until you've actually seen it in place. And I realized here that I've completely got this node wrong. I mean, the light wouldn't just come down and then suddenly begin a rapid descent here. So with the curve selected, we can access the node tool and then click drag to simply bring this node across then in order to match that, we can adjust these nodes like so. Okay, so taking the opacity down slightly, just to lessen the effect and help it blend in a bit better, what we can do next is then accentuate the areas that fall underneath this light beam we've just added. So we'll go ahead with the Dodge Brush tool Make sure the background pixel layer is selected. Increase the brush size. Then we want to target the highlight tonal range. And then if we just simply begin click dragging around the areas covered by the light beam, It just helps to sell the effect more. So then, looking at another image, we can adopt a similar procedure here. So we'll go ahead, select the pen tool, and we've got our natural light appearing up here. So we'll target a starting point, have the light come down to about here, fall off the edge of the image here, and then work its way back up to the top here. Okay, so same as before, we'll just begin manipulating these sliders to add our white fill, then go into the effects panel, add our Gaussian blur, go back to the layers panel, set the blend mode to soft light, and then we'll just reduce the opacity slightly. Now what we'll do differently here is we're now going to duplicate the curve layer. Then with the pointer tool selected, we're going to expand the curve. Then lower the opacity slightly and just move it below this curve so that our wider light beam curve is underneath the more prominent one. And if we just use the hand tool for a moment to see what we're doing, you see what we're trying to do is make it blend in a bit better by adding a wider, softer light beam, like so. So actually, if we uncheck this for a second, we'll see the original light beam we've added 
essentially by adding this lower opacity, wider curve, we're adding almost like a light scatter. So once again, we can go ahead, select the background pixel layer, and then use the dodge tool, targeting the highlights once again, just to bring out the highlights in the area that's being hit by the light beam. Okay, and then finally, what I will do is go ahead and just add a curves adjustment. Make sure to reorder it above the two vector curves here. And this just serves to accentuate the effect slightly. So if I go ahead and shift select these layers and then uncheck them, we can see we started out with a flatter image to begin with. And by adding our light beams and a curves adjustment just to make things a bit punchier, we can accentuate the direction of this light source here. So I hope that's given you a couple of new ideas for bringing vector work into photographic editing. If you have any queries, please do ask on the official Affinity Forums. Thank you for watching.